guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gav aka Baytech and today we're down at Dragon Performance in Perth to get the IS200 on the dyno and we're going to go and see what this beast makes. Oh, we M2. I love an M2. So, we're just moving some cars out of the way. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to get this thing on. We'll see what power it makes. What I'm going to do first though, is I'm not going to touch the map at all. As it is, I'll just put it on, get a data log of the power I've been running for the past 3,000 miles. And uh, we'll see what power it makes. Because it seems to be happy at this power anyway. So, much appreciated for Dragon Performance. Hiring me at the dyno, so I can get this beast on. And as you remember, this is the dyno I used when we were natural aspirated also. Uh, so it'll be good to see a power con comparison from when it was natural aspirated to now being boosted. Right, so we'll go over some of this stuff on the map just now. Because um, some of you boys wanted to see. Now, I've got an issue down here on my idle, so you're going to have to ignore this just now. I'll need to figure it out. But these are the VE uh, numbers I have in it just now for fueling. And uh, that's for me for a living AFR that I've been targeting. So it's pretty much bang on there. Um, we'll go over the ignition map as well. Now, this is the beauty about standalone is, you know, if you're on a deck three and stuff, you kind of have to put up with the ignition map that the, the standard ECU comes with. These are the ignition timing maps I'm using just now. Um, these are, I've just created these on the roads. I feel like this is quite safe, so. 0.8 of a bar which will be running kind of the day is like you know past peak torque starts adding a bit of timing into it so um that's kind of what you'd usually do and the more boost you run the less timing you run naturally i have it really retarded up here at a bar just in case um so yeah seems to be happy there uh vvt targets again i'm not going to play with this today because this vvt setup is kind of more for the down down low to give you a wee bit low end torque i'm not really bored about that um but uh yeah i've got this to help spool the turbo and it drops off once it gets past sort of 4300 rpm so that being said boost control stuff as well obviously it's all internally boost controlled um i have boost control on closed loop just now but the open loop table i have here um, you'll see I have it raising up so it rises up and this is to try and uh, cause not a little bit of lag but to try and stop a lot of surge of torque down low I only really want to start putting boost into it at 5000 odd rpm uh, you will see that in the graph it'll kind of be a linear graph rather than a big whoom surge of torque and I feel when I do this it's just a little bit more kinder on the rods and um, this is what we're doing in Honda tuning as well you know with big massive laggy turbos it actually helps uh, keep things together. I don't want to jinx anything, so touch wood. And my targets as well, you know. So I'm 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 not targeting a lot, and I target 0.8 of a bar uh, up top. So we'll see what power it makes at 0.8 of a bar, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's uh, let's get the fuel map up. Um, I'll get that done just now, and I'll just start the car up, get a wee data log, and we'll see what it makes on the first run. I'm dying on this in fifth as well, by the way. So it's going to be tricky to do this all one hand, but we'll start data log and we'll hit start now. Let's see what we make. So let's see if she does. Let this dyno rolled in and stop my data log as well. We'll get a look at the data log and we'll see what sort of boost we're running there. Uh, I need that cost to share. So. Top, we made 
0.82 bar, so not a wild amount. You can see my closed loop fuel and the green is the target and the white is the actual, so I've got that pretty much bang on, that's just the limiter there. Uh, so yeah, everything seems to be happy. Uh, fuel in, closed loop fuel in's all okay as well. It's actually pulling the fuel out towards the top end. So, so far everything looks good and the fuel pressure as well. Um, where are we at? Fuel pressure low. So the fuel pressure drops to 1.5 bar. On that first run there, we'll see what we made. Where's it going? 300. 300 hours! <laughs> Fucking yes, what did man! What you want the torque at though? Eh? What did you want the torque at? I want the torque 300. That's uh, 330. 330? Oh shit! Yeah. Um, so as you can see here, 5,000 odd, that's where I've got the boost starting to ramp in, try and keep the roads happy, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. right, and as we're making pretty much too much power, uh, I've decided to put a little bit of boost into it, maybe 0 0.05 a bar or something like that, just to see what happens, and I'm also seeing if I can try and pick up that bottom end. Um, I actually think I need to play with my weight scale a little bit, because it spikes up a bit and then drops, and then the boost control takes control, so... Um, yeah, we'll have a little play with that, and I also actually need to raise up my RPM limiter, so what we'll do is we'll do that as well. Um, limits, RPM limiter, 7,300 we'll go for. Right, let's give that a log and we'll see how it goes. So we'll start logging this thing here and prepare a new test. There's my hang. Prepare a new test. And we'll start logging. And we'll see if she does this thing. We've got a little bit more boost up the top, tiniest little bit, but I think that'll probably do us for the day. Right. This is just the last dyno pull because I've done three now and we're making too much power. I already need to turn it down so I don't want to chance my luck a little bit. But let's see how much power this thing needs. Green run. 339 horsepower, 364 newton meters. What an absolute monster of a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Hello, buddy. Wanna be an edgy? <laughs> right, guys, I'm over the moon with that because it's completely ex exceeded my expectations. I knew it was fast, but because I've ramped the torque in so gradual, it doesn't feel like it's got all that power until you get right up in the RPM and the thing takes off. So now we know why the car was so fast. It makes a lot of power. <laughs> anyway guys, you guys take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next bit. Cheers.